Okay. What's up, guys? I'm Anthony. I'm a web developer, but people call me the web doc because not only do I just create websites for businesses, I also help them improve existing ones. And I work with so many Australians and so many people all over the world. Tune in to the Online Prosperity Show. Uh, thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show, where we delve into the stories and strategies of individuals who have found success in the digital realm. I'm your host, Prosper Taruvinga, and today I have a special guest joining us. Now, please help me welcome Anthony, better known as the Web Doc. Anthony, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks, Prosper. How about yourself? Fantastic. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time out of your surgery to come and give us a value here on the Online Prosperity Show. And for those that Thank are... Thank you for having me on the show. Appreciate you. <laughs> and for those that are meeting Anthony for the first time, like I've referred to him as the web doc, he's not your ordinary web developer. He goes above and beyond not only creating stunning websites for businesses, but also helping them improve their existing online presence. Now, his dedication to building a genuine empire and relationships with his customers actually sets him apart. His passion is for fostering long-term relationships and he's earned him recognition, including being awarded as a semi-finalist for a business award at the prestigious Channel 7 Young Achievers Award. That's the reason why I reached out to Anthony and I thought, wait a minute, I've known Anthony for quite a while, but I've never actually had him on the show. So, Anthony, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule and having a chat with us. Tell us a little bit about your story and how you actually became known as the Web Doc. All right, great. So, uh, for all those uh, in Melbourne, uh, so I graduated from Swinburne with a Bachelor of Design in Digital Media. That's where I learned how to do how to make websites and learn coding as well. And my first ever job uh, was working at the entertainment book. So Prosper, do you know that big book of discounts and coupons? Oh, where you just get like a restaurant discount or like an yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I was making websites for that company like for some of their high-end clients so yeah and then yeah so i was doing that for around three years and then uh yeah and then i became a marketing coordinator in chadston uh like one in like in the vicinity in one of the buildings uh but we all know what happened in 2020 right so i only lasted for a couple of months and yeah coronavirus and they had to let me go but the crazy thing is, uh, the next day after I lost my job, I had a I got connected and had a chat with a coach in San Jose, California. Don't ask me how that happened; it just did. And then I was just like, and then yeah, I was telling her, hey, you know what's happening and all that stuff. And then she was like, why don't you start a business? And I was like what you want me to start a business in COVID when people are losing their jobs and like businesses are struggling that was my mindset back then and i was like come on woman get your ass out of here what are you talking about <laughs> and i was just like okay well um i went along with it somehow because to tell you the truth prosper i've always had the desire to be my own man one day you know what i mean like i loved what i did at the entertainment book and i love what i did as being a marketing coordinator um but, you know, I just wanted time for myself and I wanted just to do, you know, use my time the way I want to. And what if, I don't know what you believe in Prosper, but what if this is the universe telling me that, hey, you know, this is your time right now. It's like, nope, you know, you're not waiting for the perfect moment. You're doing it now. And I was like, okay, well, great. So I'm going to do it now then. But what business should I do? I didn't exactly have millions of dollars to start a business. I actually thought you need like a lot of money to start a business, but no, that's not really the case at all. Uh, I was like, wait a minute. Um, I made websites for a few years. Uh, so uh, at the entertainment book, and I also helped my friends out with their websites as well. Um, in, in the cracks of my free time when I was doing my nine to five, why don't I do that on a more professional level? And that's what I did. And yeah, like I've just, it's been such a great journey, Prosper. Like I got to meet so many amazing people from all over the world, mostly Aussies, but uh, but here and there, I got to work with some Americans, 
uh, some people in uh, in the UK as well. So that was really fantastic. And you, know, you just learn so much about yourself. And I think, you know, like there's reading about personal development, but I feel that when you're doing, when you're running a business, like you're doing personal development, you know, you got to, you know, stand your ground, charge what you're worth and just always improve yourself constantly. And yeah, like it, and I think, I just know that I just really love to build relationships. I really like to really see what people are doing out there. And I feel that I feel that I can really help people out there and just, you know, in the form of websites or just however I can. And that's something I you know just I really enjoy, just connecting people together and just helping other people as well. And how I became the web doc is that it's like, okay, well, I need to think of a name for myself. I didn't know what to do. And the life coach from from California, so, so from San, yes, yeah, from, from San Jose, California, was like to me, "Well, you fix websites, right? Yeah, why didn't you call yourself the website doctor?" And I was like, oh, "That's just a bit of a cheesy name," but yeah, but you know, um, I just went along with it, and then, um, and then, but a lot of people know me for that name, so I was like, "Okay, why don't I just call myself the web doc then?" And yeah, and that's what I'm known for at the moment. So yeah, fantastic, and that's been a journey. Uh, so to speak, and I'm also glad I was part of, you know, the first people that you sort of got in touch with. I remember fondly our conversation and um, you mentioned, you know, how the universe conspires to sort of get you the right people, the right message at the right time, you know, at the at the right place. And that sort of happened, um, you know, to you. And you also alluded a little bit to personal development where, you know, as an entrepreneur, while you're going through this journey of, um, you know, finding out how you can be of service, you're also finding out how you can serve. Now, how has that really improved, um, you know, you as a person and as, um, you know, somebody who came from that job that you did up until where you are today? So I think like personal development, I feel that that's something that is very important, whether you're an entrepreneur or not. You know what I mean? Like I always believe in constant growth because like when you're not growing, you're dying. You know what I mean? And I feel that, you know, like just what's like what I've done so far for like the last few years is that I have just learned to grow my skills in my business and to improve making websites, but also just your mindset as well. I feel like your mindset is very important as well. Cause you know, it's like, it's so easy to be, to you know, be on a high when things are going great, but how do you deal with it when, you know, when, you know, when you're going through the lows as well, because, you know, it's not just always high. So there's, there's, there's ups and downs as well. And which, and whether you're going through an up or you're going through a down, there's always something to learn as well. And yeah. Absolutely. I like that response. You know, the, the whole ebb and flow and the fact that your business sort of emanated from a time when things were down and, um, you know, you had to literally, um, you know, really, really go in, um, you know, through your own development to make sure that you yeah. you stood um, apart from other web designers there. Now, one and of the things... Also, sorry, can I just also add in? I also think it's important just to have, like, mentors and people who have walked the path that you that you want to walk as well, just, just to put that in. Ah, oh, fantastic. I was about to really drive into the one thing, you know, that actually got you started, especially you mentioned you had that um, coach you spoke to from uh, San Jose. What what actually then made you think, um, you know, that would be the path you wanted to to uh, partake? Because some people would just think, nah, maybe that's um, not me. Would there have been something inside of you that really prompted you to say, you know what, this is my calling. This is something that I'm going to be doing because you've really, um, you know, achieved quite a lot and congratulations on your nomination, um, you know, on, on their awards uh, from channel seven. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So I think for me, like, like I mentioned before, I've always had the desire to be my own man and just, I would love to live life on my own terms, you know what I mean? And like, I think for me, maybe when I was working my nine to five, I was like, okay, well, let's just save up some money. And once I'm ready, I can start doing the thing that I wanted. But sometimes again, the universe has like its different plans for you. And 
Like, I think, you know, what if, like, I was meant to speak to this person and what if this, you know, people like to call it a difficult time. But, you know, it, it, you know, with COVID, like, you can see it in many ways. Of course, like, it can be a challenging time for people, but it could also be a time where people can just, an opportunity for people just to grow and just do amazing things in that time as well. And, yeah, and I think for me, what came up to me is like, you know, I think this is a sign that, you know, I am going to, you know, make something out of myself within this time. You know what I mean? Fine, like fine. enough waiting for the perfect moment because, you know, if I keep going, like who knows when I was going to start my business, you know, think of all the opportunities that I could have missed out if I just waited for the perfect moment, but I decided to do it now. And, I think it all worked out, you know what I mean? Because I met people like you along the way. I met so many great people along the way. I've served so many great people along the way as well. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, yeah. Now, you did yourself a favor by saying yes, um, you know, to this opportunity, to getting started in your business and just saying yes, um, you know, to to life really, because obviously from losing your job, you got this, um, you know, influence from this coach telling you to get started. Now, can you share some amazing opportunities that came your way as a result of you saying yes and finding a way to make things happen? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So because of her, I was able just to work on a more international audience, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, I've got just to, you know, meet some amazing connections as well. And I think just even though at this point in my, like in, in my business, I am able to, you know, collaborate with so many amazing professionals who, you know, are some of my great friends as well. Yeah. And yeah, like I've, I've just learned so many things and, you know, like I think that I don't think I would have learned so many great things if I just stuck in my comfort zone, you know? Absolutely. So yeah. in, in this digital space, there's a lot of, um, you know, web designers that use different platforms uh, and modalities and things of that nature. How unique is your process for getting results for, um, you know, for your clients? Oh, so absolutely. So um, what we do is that, like, I just have a chat with the client and I just want just to know, you know, who they are, what they, what they do and like what profession they're in. And, and, you know, like, uh, because I like to think that everyone's website strategy is different. Like, are they selling something online? Are they just using that, you know, to get like a booking, like to book like a consultation or just to contact them? Like, let's just say, let's just say um, what they're trying to achieve first. And then we just come up with a, website strategy like i mostly use wordpress to create websites for my clients that's my bread and butter but let's say if a client has wants to sell something online like i would perhaps recommend them to like shopify because like I, I work with multiple platforms as well fantastic right now you know, there's going to be a lot of, um, you know, clients that have different needs and requests. Can you just provide us an example of a project where obviously you went beyond maybe your area of expertise to improve that client's business and how did it actually turn out? Because you were about to talk about how you use Shopify, even though your strongest point, um, you know, is WordPress. All right. Um, I'll just give you a couple of examples so for example um i had a martial arts school um that that reached out to me and like they had an existing website but they were looking for a revamp as well because one the website is outdated but two they wanted some like extra features and strategies just to help them get more people to their website and also just to sign up as well so as a result we just went through some strategies we went through some designs that they liked and yeah and we just went through like just some elements that we, they can add into their website just to help convert and also get more just just to make it easier for people just to sign up as well so yeah and and as a result uh we have a new 
like I created them a new modern website with like some really modern designs, which looks like really fantastic. But not just that, it's also a website that's really easy for people just to sign up and become a member as opposed to always having to come in to like reception all the time. Like, yeah, they can also just sign up online as well, which makes it easier for uh, the members and also the business owner as well. So he can focus on just teaching, you know? Fantastic. So you you mentioned martial arts and then, you, you know, I just quickly uh, remembered that you're also uh, an advocate and, um, you know, you do Bra Brazilian jiu-jitsu, you know, even though it's not sort of the same. What what sort of role has your combination of jiu-jitsu and personal development really, really helped? Because from what you're saying, you used that uh, combination to now create, um, you know, a website for this client of yours. So how has jiu-jitsu, um, you know, played in either your personal or professional development? Uh, for those who haven't tried jiu-jitsu out before, it's possibly one of the most humbling martial arts out there because like i've done like karate before when i was a kid but i think with like i feel like with jujitsu like you get like huge reality check you know what i mean like it's a martial art where you just have to learn to put your ego aside so you can just learn and become better you're going to get smashed like i remember when i started jujitsu i got like absolutely smashed i got my ass kicked so many times and you know like and like i think you know, what in that process, it just helps me just to uh, put my ego to the side so I can just learn, you know, how to become a better martial artist in jiu-jitsu, but also just put my ego aside in business as well to see how I can help people better as well and what are the, some of the things that I need to improve on as well. Because I think with, like, jiu-jitsu and websites, they are, both are always things that are going to be continuously evolving and growing as well. Like websites is always constantly growing and improving. There are so many like new trends. There's so many better ways to improve someone's website. And even though I have great skills right now, you know, I'm still learning and there will always still be great skills for me to learn and become a better, you know, website consultant and developer for my clients as well. And same thing in jujitsu, you're always gonna learn. You're never gonna stop learning and growing. Fantastic. And um, I really appreciate how you've put that combination and, and the love for the art and also your profession now. And you have actually mentioned something that's of utmost importance to a lot of people. Um, there's new technologies that are coming up every single day. There's new uh, nuances in how people communicate and connect with their audience. Now, how do you specifically stay updated with the latest trends and technologies in web development, um, you know, in and, and, and how are you imparting that knowledge to help your clients uh, become successful? So I think as busy as I am, I always take the time out just to learn the new trends and just to see what people are doing out there as well. And, and again, as I've mentioned, um, it's always important just to have like mentors and people that you can look up to as well. Because even though like I'm great at what I'm doing, like I also believe there are people out there who have achieved like much greater things than me. And I want to follow in their footsteps and just learn how I can become better as well, you know? Fantastic. Now, if somebody's watching right now, Anthony, they're just thinking, wow, this is a well-rounded guy. This is somebody I would like to sort of stay in touch with or have have him create my website. What would be the best way for people to get a hold of you? So the best way people can get a hold of me is through Facebook, Instagram, uh, through LinkedIn as well. I'm getting my new website. I'm getting my new website revamped as well. So like, I'm just going through a process of just, uh, I went through like a revamp of my logo and branding and my website is going to be up soon as well. So once that's done, um, I think I provided you the link, but yeah. And when that's ready, like my contact details will be there as well. Fantastic. Now, what sort of advice would you maybe give to an aspiring web developer who's just maybe getting started on their entrepreneur journey? So I think, firstly, uh, 
don't always wait for the perfect moment, you know, like just it's okay. Because when I started, I didn't know everything, you know what I mean? Okay, so this is going to sound crazy, but like I didn't know what like public liability was until like recently. So it's so uh, lucky I got that sorted out, but it's just basically, it's just basically, you know, like you don't have to know everything. Like you're always going to learn along the way, you know, whether it's, something in websites you've never done before, a platform you've never done before. You can always learn these things along the way. And, you know, and whether, you know, <clears throat> I think, like, on, honestly, what's really helped, what something else that's also helped me is, like, come in with the intention of just trying to help someone, you know, and the right people will come to you. And, you know, there is plenty of work out there for everyone like you will have your own tribe you will have people that will relate to what you're doing and you will have people that won't and that's absolutely okay because there is a lot of abundance and there's a lot of work out there for everyone and just have amazing people that you can be around with it doesn't matter if they're web developers or not but they're going to support you they're going to carry you and, and lift you up you know and also yeah again just have also have like mentors that have walked that path that you want to walk as well and just continue to learn from them and yeah just never stop learning fantastic i love 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 that sentiment of never stop learning now anthony we could go on and on and i know you've got so much to give and so much to contribute but I just want, you know, our audience who's now getting to like you a little bit to, you know, just, you know, um, sort of know a little bit more about what they can expect from the web doc in the future. What can they expect from the web doc? So I like to believe that, you know, I'm always going to be growing. I'm always going to be improving. So every time someone works together with me, they will always have a much more better and improved website. And yeah, so I, I just do things like I just create help, you know, business create new websites. I can revamp websites. And, you know, if you have a, a bug or two on your website, I can help repair that as well. Yeah. Absolutely. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our captivating conversation with Anthony, the web doctor. And we've delved into the world of web development, personal development. And we also discovered Anthony's unique approach to not only creating websites, but also build genuine relationships with his clients. Now, I would like you to help me thank Anthony uh, for his time on the show today and also thank you, my dear viewers, for joining us on this episode of the Online Prosperity Show. Stay tuned for more inspiring conversations with individuals who have embraced the power of the internet to achieve prosperity. And remember, success is within your reach. And by taking action, embracing ethics and fostering genuine con uh, connections, you too can thrive in the digital realm. Until next time, this has been Prosper signing off. Thank you so much, Anthony. Thank you, Prosper. And thank you so much for joining, guys. Appreciate you.